They are singing, dancing and smiling, but these young mothers have been through a lot. Today they may smile, but a few days ago they had tears rolling down their faces. Some of them are married while others have been retrieved from marriage. In rural communities in Zambia, early marriage is common, and in most cases it is considered normal. Girls as young as 13 years old are married off for as little as 300 kwacha. This is the sad reality which has led to thousands of school-going girls dropping out of school. Because of this, three Mandela Washington fellows, Nangamba, Chintu, Evans, Nsoka, and Poshalala, with the support of the United States government, are running a one-year project to bring back girls who have dropped out of school. The aim of the project is to send um young girls back to school. We had a target of sending 10,000. So we are, we, 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 are, we, are, we are working with schools, we are working with the, uh, the chief, we are working with uh, the headmen, and we are working with faith leaders to ensure that our young girls are given an opportunity to uh, stay longer in school so that at least they acquire uh, basic education than uh, sending them into marriages uh, at an early age, which is disadvantaging them from progressing to to, to achieve more in their lives. The project is being implemented both in Katete District in Eastern Province and Pemba District in Southern Province. The areas have been chosen because predominantly rural districts have some of the highest cases of early marriages in Zambia. We learned somewhere how to make reusable pads and these pads are made from local available materials, the washable pads. So a girl can use one pad even for six months or so but it's washable. So the idea is that we want to combat absenteeism because during menses, most of the girls we discovered uh, miss classes. And you can imagine in a term how many times a girl you know, uh, has their menses and how many days that the girl will miss. So on average we have a girl who misses school, maybe classes for five days. And in a term like 15 days, and that's too much. Okay, so once the girl learns how to make these pads, it's a life skill that we impart in her. She'll be able to make them, she can even sell them and raise money for books instead of going out, you know, looking for money from boys. Yeah. In Pemba, Chintu has been working with various stakeholders to educate them on the importance of educating the girl child. Traditional marriage counsellors, who are locally known as Alangizi, are key in this project. They are the people who can either increase early marriage or fight the vice. But under the Nileleni project, Alangizi are in the forefront of bringing back married girls to school. Project ya mene nidi nayo, nianga nidabana, timaenda kumakolo, mavire jezi yo siyana siyana kwa chero, tienda na chivanga, tipita mo siyana siyana mwambidi ni mutari mwamene timaenda. Tima soba ma transporti ya kutiendere, tika choka kuseni, kufika, tima fika kumazulo, kutenga bana, baja wamene, badi na 15, 14 years, kufika, kufika 19 years. Amene ali mchikwati, tienda mkubape mpabana, kutia babana, babwelele kumaskulu. Deni mazimuna wawo wama vomena, kutibana bafunika kuyenda zona skulu. Headmen and religious leaders have in the past one year helped identify girls who've dropped out of school on account of either pregnancy or early marriage. The stakeholders have been the change agents in these rural communities where marriage is the ultimate. Uh, in education, we also, uh, at the church, we always want to promote uh, education. 
Yes, and when the project started, and when we were told to say the idea is to bring the children, uh, to teach them, to encourage them, we supported the project. And so we have felt that we should also be participants. We should see our children going to school, remain in school. One of the girls retrieved from marriage through the Nileleni project is this teenager who is back at Muzoka Primary School. Her story is shocking. Mebo, daga ya jigoro jangu, kusikira mbuwe ya grade 9. Daga zuidirira kuinka grade 10, first ndaga lemba grade 7, ndaga pasa, ndasa inde umacha girls. Bahari wangu, baga hariru wakundito la umacha girls, baga ndiku mbira kutindie po mnyawa. So ndaka jiweza ambri mtu ubo na mwa shimbu uvede. Ndaka zumina kui ya po mnyawa. Ndaka yawa, ndaka ile mba bukuli ya grade 9, aro ndaka pasa kuinka kusikarongo, secondary school. Baka alirwa, unditora kusikarongo, baka ndiro mba utindie, yaka juru wa ndondi hai. So kuya kwa roku ndaka kujana huyu muumu, wakuti, wina anotu wakari hui ya hiyo hikwene. Tuwari hui ya hui andiza ma subject otatwe, kumana kwa temu. Ponda kaa janina msangu wa hiundi andabati, warozu wako mnyo unu mzoga. Akuti iba hali wangu ba hoga girwa, ba jise mpati wangu. Ba mata ba wetuwe ba karika na abatata. So mpati wangu wari wivarin honi, wari kutora ekoreji ya environmental health. So baga hali wangu, baga babu yu mwungu wangu jana mali, agu ishandi me, akuti batore ba pati wangu ujigoro. So munda ka hoo mita, aku karanga nda mebo. Munda ka likuta ndira lugwa shoti musa nkwa kandi kwa shiria. Munda ka kala, baka ndi uromba kuti ujoke kujigoro, pesi matiti baka jisi. Ponya nda ka hoo kuti higwa. Nda ka inka kuya kujigwati. Kuinda ka aku kala, uzwamu 2013. 2016, nda ka li mwa kuti ndi piruke kujigoro. Nda ka kumbila mwaru mingotu kala limwe. Nda kumbila ndi joke kujigoro. Ijigwati... Tajimani. So awalo tagari huwa hui umu umu nungu baku timantu bakari kwa ambaku tiutuwaisha munga intu bala zanga. Pesi ndira rumba balo tibaka jikweza bobo. Bakari huwa hui tiwa inka uga iye. Ndaka inka hui uwa iya kuya. Ndaka tarika mtu 2016 grade 8. Ndaka tarika mzoka bezi karimu. Last year 2017 ndaka remba fine exam grade 9. Ndaka zuidirira. Ndaka zile hui inka kupemba secondary. Inaga mboka rugwa shoru jishupa. Ndaka ya ndawe uti nditarike po mnya wa amuzoga. Kute kwa kaji maru mangu jimuba wabile kugwa shanya. Aba ama kubadela kuranganya vana vangu anto omwa ndime. Teachers in the school where Nileleni clubs have been formed have made efforts of including the project in their extracurricular activities. Uh, currently we have uh, more than 50 members and they are still joining. We meet, we talk about various issues with them, pregnancy, getting back to school a lot. The response is very good, they are enjoying it, and usually they, all, they always want us to meet almost every day. Even today they were asking me, Madam, can we meet? I said, no, let's meet on Thursday as usual. Mm -hmm. And stories by girls who are back in school are quite scary. But these young ones are happy to have been rescued from the shackles of poverty and marriage. Mom and dad divorced when I was doing grade one. I never knew the reason. Uh, we were asking them, they never wanted to tell us what happened. So they decide to share as we are four. Mom uh, got me with my young sister, then dad stayed with my elder brother and young, the young brother. Uh, they, they agreed that each, the, 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 those people, the, those children that know whom they are cheating, they'll be paying for them for school fees. So, mom, she was doing a certain job, like uh, she had the restaurant. And since they don't, they'd never had money for raising their business, she failed to continue. So, when I got my result, I found that yeah, I was going to grade 10. They never had money, so they decided me to get married. They told me that this man who is going to marry you, she's going to, he is going to take you for school. I never refused. I said, okay, no problem, I'll go to the man. 
a man got me, I went to his place. I found he had, he had uh, one house and like a kitchen, two children, a wife. Then uh, the man went to call the parents for him to, to come and see me. And I, that's how I learned away from this side because they never wanted to get married. From marriage, going to school. I said they cannot manage. So that's how I went away from Namwala coming here to Pemba. One man in Pemba stands out. This man is a primary school dropout, but after attending a focus meeting organized by the team from Nileleni Project, he has allowed his wife to go back to school. This is despite his peers warning him that his wife will desert him once she completes school. Apart from retrieving girls from marriage, the Nileleni project has also been training the girls and their parents to make reusable sanitary pads. In rural areas, sanitary towels are not easily accessible due to high levels of poverty. But these sanitary towels are a lifeline in rural communities like Pemba. So, Tima tunga mapadzi kuba uza bana bantu tikankala nao kuri nyula hi nyula ina nguni akanika blanket blanket chabe aka kamene tima tunga ero ikasira ipadzi tima juba bwino bwino then ikajubiwa imankala so imankala so ipadzi imankala so kuti mwana wa mwana amene safu nika kuti aenda ku school azionongera iyai and in katete the project is running smoothly here the project is being done in collaboration with world vision as world vision we do receive uh, support from our partners abroad uh, from us from canada and from australia uh, and so when we receive that, then we get it down to, to the communities. And so it so happened that at one time we received what I would call some peculiar type of uh, goods. Uh, and those were uh, underwear for girls. Um, we had a bit of challenge. We didn't know whether the community would accept that kind of gift. Yeah. So we said we could go ahead and try to, to see whether the community can accept that. And so when we got into the community, we thought of a way of, well, not just to distribute those things, but to find a, a better way, you know, looking at the peculiarity of the items that we received, we, a better way of how we can hand over that. And since those were underwear for girls, it came into our minds that we, we go through alangis. And so we approached our languages and introduced the items to them. They thought that was a good idea. And the, they are the people we use to distribute uh, those items. And when we had a very good interaction of those languages and the girls, we thought, uh, why not continue with this kind of interaction? Uh, because it was a very good idea that these people, who normally, uh, culturally, they, they, they just do it one off. They speak to the girls when they are of age, and after that, they, that's all. They just pump them with ideas, and then they leave them there. But we thought it would be a good idea for them to continue having discussions with the girls so that they can help the girls and encourage them to, to go to school. But also on issues of hygiene, 
those were the, the major issues we thought the Alangis could help them. So as we continued uh, with those interactions, and more ideas started coming on board, and we thought uh, this would be also one of the platforms to discourage early pregnancies and discourage early marriages. So if the Alangis could continue interacting with the girls, then they would be able to help the girls, uh, to, to help them, to, to, to discourage them to go into early marriages and help also to, to stop uh, or reduce uh, early pregnancies. But at the same time also encourage the girls to go back to school. So that's where the whole concept started from until now we developed it into some, some kind of a project and started looking around for support so that we, can see, we, we could see how uh, this whole idea can, can be rolled out on the ground. Here too, many success stories have been recorded. Malita is a classic example. Malita <laughs> Ukafusa panuria mwana alibesha ni sopo afuno washiriwa mchele palibe pokomo basi nupandiwa ukapitiza uso ufusa nje uti nugona pawaro so umoe wako chukwa ati nuoipa so nikabula soko ama ama kukomo kuti kuja nukafusa kuma kuti nupandiwa makolo yanga nunibwe sasa kuchukwa ati kutipita kuchukwa ati kuchukwa ati nupirira so nipomfata uti chukwa ati nupirira nubwele laso ni kuchukwa wa muna so kwa kwa mwote kakala kwa masiku, tika tasoa ndo usa bandiwa, ndi kuta unanga nzaka. So, tika kakala kwa kuja, tika fusa suto, pano eshi gayo paribe, basi, nupandi waso. Ndi kuti ya polomba mnyomba siti gona, mungona pa walo. So, ndi pochona te, mm, ay, nalemo bandiwa. Ndi ilo ndo mbandiwa. Ndi lomba nubwele laso kumakolo. So, kwa kumakolo mba nakala, ah, nina apila kumazi, nukumuna nimza anga puliska. Audi ah upunzira audi ah ine sini punzira chifu kuda ndiri mwana audi anenfu anenfu zaudi ah kuskuru aibewana ama pita sare sa kuskuru aibewana so ne pamoja kuti kuskuru aibewana sare sa audi ah eroso kuna kula kwa program kandere ni aku kwa program anti Dorothy ama punzisa ana omoja chuo kufikwati ubuda kuskuru so ni audi ah so ni kwa kambi sabo anjuma kwa program audi ah Nakabula kapo gramu kwa savuta, anti doro ufi ama tandiza. Mbeni na mfuzo kutia, uli mwa anti doro ufi, sali pilisa, nini wangu kutia. Sali pilisa ni mahala, hawa punzisa shabe, pele ka ana hazi kazi, pila uskulu, uchoko kufikwati. Chifuja kuti, uka punzisa, ana hazi kazi, si makala jinusha pindu, kuti mbanja anu, ika karayo leme kezega. This mother of one is back at Kanjeza school and authorities have allowed her to continue with her education. So far, there are 10 of them that have come back. There are three in grade 10, then the other seven are in grade 9. Uh, performance in the class is generally good. And uh, surely, when you look at the, the social surrounding, looking at their friends and, and, and so on, the way they mingle, it's okay. They really understand why they have come back to school. Chief Dennis Kawaza is a traditional leader who presides over the Chewa-speaking people in Katete. The chief has been instrumental in spearheading efforts by the Nileleni project to retrieve girls from marriage. So what we did with the support, we had to bring on board the Alangis, we have bring on board the, the, the headmen, we have bring on board the parents. We have bring on board the, the, the owners, the children and the boys, because this is a key project which it needs everyone to participate. So from that point, we are seeing that there is an achievement, although we, have, we haven't had have another report again from the statistics which we had, so that we should know how many... Where is the shift dome now, according to the rate which we were? But for now, already under, under Kadura Ward, Ken area, 306, they have gone back to, to school, those who are dropouts. 
in both Katete and Pemba, the Nileleni project has also been using mass media to sensitize communities on the effects of early marriage. Various stakeholders have featured on 13 series live radio programs hosted by Chikuni Radio in Pemba and Mpangwe FM in Katete. Oh, ngati waiki wa mshinamu hali kwa mani mwana wa kuskuru. Mm-hmm. Aha, ngati waiki wa mshinamu hali mwana wa kuskuru. Njifuka chake tulufoto kwa zapano, tu osa ika mwana wa chichepele kuchite ni mchikuwa mchani mchinamu hali. Oro mwana wa kuskuru mjana kambira wajaka tina amake jako katina amake face. Ane na kuti mwana osa muika msanga mchinamu hali akari kusukuru. Chifukwa nzeru, zizambo kara kwa zija, zo mwana rumu uza muja. Saza ika nzeru kumapunziru. Mwana safu niko mwika, orati pa holiday. Safu niko mwika mwana mnyumba pamene uja mwana akali kumapunziro. Chonde, mwana lekana akawele nge ngati, ali pa holiday. Halo, mwacha mabwanji. Hilo, mwacha mabwanji mkwani. Tacha wa matizwani. Dile, waitu sa libanda kundu kwa kusangazi kisi kisaya vire. Afunso kaya ndemanga. E, ndemanga yanga, nika mbako bali makuru kwa hile he. Wakana kulipidi la wana kusukuru. Mm. Asa mkare, oka nga kulipidi la wana kusukuru, because mwana nga tuwapede la kusukuru, jishu wa hulipapi ni mcho isa. Mm. Over the past one year, the Nileleni project has changed lives and brought back girls to school. For some, even their livelihoods have changed as they are now selling reusable parts to make ends meet. But for the girl child, the opportunity to get back to school has opened doors for her to get a bright future.